What are we holding here? These are the students' paper violins. So we use these to learn about the parts of a real violin, uh, the proper way to hold a real violin. Um, this is used to help them understand not only the different parts and how they work and what they do, but also to demonstrate a respect for the instrument. Um, you know, real, real instruments are very fragile. And so we, we spend our time learning the correct way to hold this, the correct way to handle it, so that we know how to handle our real instruments when we get them. So as they learn um, about different parts of the violin and different techniques, we add pieces. Um, and we have a song that goes with it. So. Um, you know, for example, when we learned our standing positions, we would learn about our shoulder rest, which rests on your shoulder, and our chin rest, which rests on your, on your chin. So when we learned about our standing positions, we added those pieces that day. Um, and as we kept going, we added new pieces. So we learned about our four strings and added those, and our bridge holds our strings. Our song uh, talks about how um, our, the names of our strings are A, D, and G, and this is our scroll. Um, so again, as we learn about different pieces, they get added to the violin. Great, and the kids make these. Yeah, and as you can see, um, I mean, they make them from the ground up. So we, we take pieces of cardboard and we assemble a, a body and then we add paper mache and paint it. Um, and as you can see, some of them are realists and they like to have, you know, exactly the right colors for everything. But then some of them like to personalize as well. So it's kind of uh, but they did everything on here. So they did the F holes, they drew those, we practiced drawing those for first the bridge, and the tailpiece, and the button, the chin rest, the fingerboard, the scroll, and everything. Well, it's all very exciting, and I'm thrilled that this is happening right here at Nellistone Johnson. Of course, Nellistone Johnson has a regular music program, which is probably the only middle school with so many instruments. Very lucky school. Very lucky school. The program is called ACME. And uh, ACME means? Advocates for Community Through Musical Excellence. Um, first and foremost, we're a program that's focused on building good social skills between the kids, and getting them to, to work well together, and getting them to be friends, and understanding what a good friend is and what respect means. Every week, we have what we call a key to harmony. And so, uh, we heard us talking a lot about respect this week. That's one of our keys. You know, our, you know, um, respect joy, courage. Um, so each week we pick one of these one of these keys and we focus on, on that. And so the whole idea is that um, building an orchestra is the perfect corollary to building a community. You have many different voices that sound different, but when they organize and when they work together they become something beautiful. When they don't organize and they don't work together it's just noise. It's nothing. But isn't it amazing that we can take things that sound completely different um, and have their own flavor and their own personality? And when we work together, we're able to create something bigger than the sum of its parts, and more beauty together. So that's the that's the driving factor behind what we do here and, and what the curriculum is about. And uh, so the, the whole concept of diversity being beautiful because they look certainly look a lot different too mm -hmm. is um, is kind of one of the Silent, profound lessons that kids are learning. Well, I yeah, I guess I wouldn't say silent because we do, we do spend time talking about um, you know, it, does a violin make the same sound as a cello? Okay. No, they don't. They make different sounds. But can they sound good together? Well, it depends. Are they working together? Are they communicating with each other? Um, so we do. Yeah, silent. We okay. do talk about it. Great. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so now musically. Um, this is, for most of these kids, this is their first musical lesson. Yeah, so in kindergarten they do sing some songs, so they sing the ABC song, and Mr. Hadley does some, that's their first experience with instruments, is their first real intense experience with music making, uh, which is, you know, the heart of our program is ensemble music making. And, and who, the, the staff? Oh yeah, so, um, so I'm Patricia Morgan Brist, I'm the artistic director. Um, and we kind of met Daniel Zamzow, who is my assistant for most of the days. We also have Cam um, Arnstein, who is one of the members of the Minnesota Orchestra, and a few other people joining us next semester. So we have another gentleman um, who helped one of the, run one of these programs out in Boston, and so he's going to come here and help us as well next semester, um, as, if, as well as a few more orchestra musicians that will be giving the students private lessons on their real instruments. So when they get their real instruments next year.
theater, they'll have 15, 20 minutes um, with the members of the Minnesota Orchestra giving them private instruction. At the very front end, your program, Acme, comes in and introduces kids at an age before the school program would actually start. Correct. And uh, these kids are how old? Six and seven years Six old. Six and seven years old. All so first grade. Fantastic opportunity. How many kids are in the program? There are 15. 15 kids. And that's our max. And we do have a waiting list of other kids that wanted to be a part of it, but right now our staff can handle 15. Great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for coming to visit. All you do. Absolutely. Kids are having a great time and uh, it's going to make a great difference in their academic development and personal we, we do homework time as well. Oh, great. Thanks. Very nice. Thank you for coming.